What happens when you mix Western perfumery with Eastern perfumery? You get Swiss Arabian. Hey guys, hear me, welcome back to another video, and today we're gonna to be talking about Swiss Arabian perfumes. Now, I've talked about this brand once before in the past, and I've actually got a chance in the summertime, maybe around in June or July, to visit their headquarters here in Las Vegas. I sniffed so many of their fragrances, maybe 40 to 50 bottles that day. My nose was completely, completely shot. But before I left their office, I had a chance to pick out some of my favorite fragrances to take back with me to do a review on. So this video is sponsored by Swiss Arabian. They did give me these bottles for free. I just wanted to let you know that up front. But these are my favorite out of 40 or 50 of them that I smelled that day. Now, first one we have is Shakhaf Clear Blue. Now, this is a very, very designery smelling scent, but it's not designer as in it smells like stuff you could get at Sephora. It's designer in terms of, you know, the scent DNA. It's a fresh, citrus, sweet scent. So it reminds you a lot of designer fragrance, but the quality in this is different. It's a little bit more upscale, not niche quality, but lies somewhere in between. This one smells like, Oh man, this one smells like if you take fragrances like Dior Sauvage, Dylan Blue, or even Blair Chanel and you just squeeze a bunch of fresh lemon into the fragrance, it smells, wow. Just really, really fresh lemon citrus with like a sweet undertone. Yeah, just like a fresh sweet lemonade. It's, I can't stop smelling it. It smells really good. This fragrance would be great for the summertime or anywhere indoors really. It's super, super versatile. Fresh fragrance can generally be worn anytime. This is no exception. And this fragrance is different enough from other designer fragrances out there that people are wearing. So you will be able to stand out a little bit more than other people. So that's a big plus as well. The selling point for me with this fragrance is that it's versatile, it's mass appealing, that's what I love about it, but it's also a little bit different. If you're a fan of fresh fragrances, but you're tired of like the Dylan Blue, the Sauvage, and you want something a tad bit more different, I highly recommend you check out this one, Shakov Clear Blue. Next one, we have the winter version of Shakov. This is Shakov Oud Abjet. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. <laughs> this one, God, this one is so complex. I remember first time I smelled this, I could not explain what it actually has, but it's, all I can smell is that it's super, super woody. It's super woody with a hint of leather. I think it has oud in here as well. I read some of the notes before and it has just a list of notes and like if you smell it enough, you can pick out each individual notes that's in here, extremely complex. Woody, masculine, oud, leather fragrance, ambers in there as well. I smell some sweet amber in the background. This, now this is the true niche quality fragrance. The other one, clear blue, is more designer. This is definitely the niche version, the winter version. And the reason I love this one so much is because I don't know what to compare it to. I really don't. This is unique. If you know my channel, I love unique fragrances. And every time I discover one, I just fall in love instantly. This one is one of those. This fragrance being as heavy as it is though is best for fall and winter time and for the occasion I wouldn't say that it's good to wear every day because it is a little bit more complex, it's a little bit more different than others so it's more for the connoisseur like you wear it for yourself, you wear it maybe outdoors in the winter time, you don't want it to wear it in closed space because everyone else might be a little bit annoyed of it, it is quite a strong fragrance and it's not mass appealing so you're not gonna get a lot of compliments. So don't expect compliments from this. This is pure art. So for the connoisseurs out there who's looking for a different fragrance, something really heavily woody, but also with a lot of other nuances as well, this fragrance is awesome. Chaka Oud Aviat. Moving on, we have this remarkable looking bottle. This is, <laughs> this is something else. I actually don't remember much of what this smells like. So this is gonna surprise me once again. Man, I, I don't even know how to describe it. Citrusy, grassy, a little bit sweet, not like just a smidgen. It's, it's different. It's very, very different. It's green, citrus, a little bit sweet, a little bit piercing. The smell of this to me smells like a very, very confident woman. Like we're talking royalty type confident. The type of woman who don't care at all what everyone else thinks and really can pull this fragrance off because this this is uber niche as well, like more, even more so than Oud Abyad. I'm, I said Oud Abyad is for the connoisseur. This is for like the heavy, heavy connoisseur. It smells 
Yeah, it's, it's just the green grassy citrusness. I like it again because it's also unique. This brand actually has a few unique fragrances and I'm super surprised because they're priced really affordable. For them to make something that is unique, it's mind-boggling to me because, you know, in the fragrance world, a lot of brands copy each other and I'm glad to have discovered a brand that doesn't. Yeah, for occasion, I would say this is good for formal. Like if you're in a dress and it, this is actually unisex too as well if you don't mind. If you're a guy who don't mind wearing something a little bit more feminine, you can dress up in a tuxedo. The girl can be wearing a really, really beautiful, like luxurious dress and she's wearing a lot of makeup and she's just kind of owning the whole, the whole conference. Like she's just there, she's the eye of everyone and she's just wearing this elegant fragrance that captures all of her beauty together that's that's how much this fragrance is but again you really do need to be confident to pull this off because if you're not confident you're shy or whatever this is gonna kill you it really it really really is gonna kill you it's just gonna be too controlling is what I'm trying to say ultimately moving on we have Sir Al Sheila I cannot pronounce that so I'm, there's a name in on the screen I'm sure I, I'm gonna put one there for you guys I cannot I cannot pronounce this, and but this one, I remember it being a spicy rose fragrance. Oh, it smells so good. It smells so good. Rose, for me, is a tough note. I don't own a lot of rose fragrances because generally, they really smell like grandma, if you know what I mean. Like, it's just, rose just reminds me of old school powdery grandma fragrances. I don't own a lot of them, but this one, gosh, this one smells like a beautiful woman in a red dress. Another thing about rose fragrances, they all smell feminine to me, so I don't really recommend roses for men. So this one, being a rose fragrance, to me, smells feminine. Man, but this one does really smell like a woman in a red dress. It's really elegant, nighttime, sexy as well. I can imagine this being either a formal fragrance, an event type of fragrance, or even a sexy date night fragrance. God, just so beautiful. Very, very beautiful. This one is actually one of my favorite for my girlfriend as well. She was she was the one who actually picked this one out. I didn't pick this one out. She just loved it so much. She pointed to me, I smelled, and I was like, okay, yeah, I agree. And I really do think she would smell perfect in this if we ever go out on like a fancy dinner date or something like that. Man, if your girl, if your girlfriend, your wife, or anyone that you know love the note of rose and likes to go out on like fancy dates or fancy events or whatever, this is gonna be one of the best gifts you can buy them. Please, like check this one out. Well, test it first, of course, not blind buy it, of course. But definitely, this is a great gift. I highly, highly recommend it if you're into rose fragrance. This next one is my favorite out of the five. This is by far the most appealing young rose fragrance I've ever smelled in my life. So hey guys, the audio in my camera went out. So basically what I said in this, this segment is that this fragrance is a very creamy rose fragrance, like a light creamy rose fragrance, very summery. Imagine a sundress, maybe a wife or a girlfriend having like a nice picnic with the kids out in the sun, wearing a really beautiful light sundress, very, really pretty, very, very adorable scent. I love it so much, super, super good. Yeah, that's basically what I said. So yeah, let's get back into it. This is the one that I would definitely buy for my girlfriend if I didn't own a bottle already, because this just is divine. It's just really good. I've never smelled a rose fragrance that's like this before. The rose in here is not heavy, strong, piercing in your face type of rose, like a lot of other fragrances are. The rose here is kind of like, it's blend in with the creamy notes super, super well. It's the most beautiful rose scent for a girl, by far. If you're a girl and you like rose fragrance, or if your girlfriend, your guy watching this and your girlfriend likes rose fragrance, this is it. This is the end all be all of all rose fragrances. You know what guys, since this is so good, I'm gonna do a giveaway, a decant of this fragrance. This is not a Swiss Arabian giveaway. They're not doing this giveaway for this channel. I'm gonna be the one to do it out of my own good heart because I want people to actually try this. It's just that amazing. So guys, if you wanna win a sample of this, I don't know what ML I'm gonna give away yet. I have to go look at my decant closet to see what size I have. But I will give away one decant to a lucky winner. All you have to do is like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. Good luck with the giveaway. If you win, it's awesome. If you don't win, you still 
have to promise me if you like rose fragrance you will check this one out if you don't check out any other fragrance for the rest of the year you have to check out this one at least all right guys that's it for the video on swiss arabian there's a lot of unique fragrances in this brand and next time if i ever get a chance to visit them again i'll bring some more back to share with you guys because there's loads more i love to share from this brand in general so with that said don't forget to enter the giveaway and i'll see you guys next time peace and bye.